this example is saying is look here there is a baker right he wants to make cakes he makes two kind of cakes do tarike ke cake banata hai cake a and cake b he is making two kind of cakes now he has a constraint on the resources that are used to make these cakes to ye jo cake hai na ye cake banta hai teen cheezon se flour sugar and butter and there is a constraint on the quantities of each of them so we see that there is only 150 kg of flour with him 12 kg of sugar with him and 27.5 kg of butter with him so there is this constraint on the quantities of the resources ye resources jo hain flour sugar and butter these are used to make the cake to bake the cake ye teen resources use hote hain is cake ko banane ke liye and there is a limit to the resources now come to the first cake requirement so to produce one unit of this cake agar mujhe is cake ka one unit banana hai to produce one unit of this cake i require 3 3 kg of flour 1 kg of sugar and 1 kg of butter now just think about it beta suppose i tell you that i am producing x1 units of cake a so to produce one unit jab mujhe sirf ek unit banana tha when i just produced one unit when i was just producing one unit of kk i was requiring 3 kg of butter of flour so to produce x1 units of kk a i would require 3 x1 units of the flour same look further now to produce one unit of of the cake a i require 1 kg of sugar so to produce x1 units of cake a i would require x1 kgs of sugar right beta aise yahan par hai to produce one unit of cake a i require 1 kg of butter so to produce x1 units i would require x1 into 1 units of butter so i can just make a matrix here this is cake a when it comes to cake a i require 3 x1 units of flour i require x1 units of sugar and i require x1 units of butter to produce x1 units of cake this is flour this is sugar and this is butter aise ek matrix bana li now beta i will talk about cake b for cake b i am producing x2 units of cake b so i will just go back so i am producing x2 units of cake b to produce one unit of cake b i require 6 kg of flour so to produce x2 units of cake b i will require 6 into x2 units of flour same to produce one unit of cake b i require half kg of sugar so to produce x2 units of cake b i would require half into x2 units of sugar same yahan pe to produce one unit of cake b i require 1 kg of butter so to produce x2 units of cake b i would require x2 into 1 units of butter but i have a constraint na that the total flour given to me that is 150 kg ye mere paas ek constraint hai that the total flour is 150 kg that the total sugar is 12 kg that the total butter is 27.5 kg so i have a constraint here so whatever this baker is using to produce whatever flour is used to produce cake a plus 
वॉट एवर फ्लॉर इज यूज टू प्रोड्यूस केक बी इट शुड बी लेस देन इक्वल टू द टोटल फ्लॉर अवेलेबल विद हिम भाई इससे ऊपर तो उसके पास वीट अवेलेबल नहीं है ना फ्लॉर अवेलेबल नहीं है सो ही हैज टू वॉट एवर फ्लॉर ही यूज इज हियर एंड वॉट एवर ही यूज इज हियर इट हैज टू बी लेस देन इक्वल टू वन सेम इफ आई जस्ट पुट अ प्लस साइन हियर इट हैज टू बी लेस देन इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व इफ आई पुट अ प्लस साइन हियर it has to be less than equal to 27.5 so we are going ahead and we are putting a constraint that the total flour cannot exceed this the total sugar cannot exceed this the total butter cannot exceed this okay beta now it is given to us that each unit of cake sells for 20 rupees he earns 20 and each unit of uh, cake b he earns 30 so beta how many units for one unit of cake a he is earning 20 he is producing x1 units of cake a so he will earn 20 into x1 similarly to produce one unit of cake b he requires 30 he is producing x2 units of cake b so to produce x2 units he will have to have 30 into x2 so beta what can be his total revenue his total revenue will be what he earns from cake a plus what he earns from cake b this is the total money that he will be earning what will be his aim his aim will be to maximize whatever he is earning subject to following these three constraints that i have written here so he wants to maximize his earnings but he must be able to satisfy these constraints क्लियर हो गई ये बात लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग का अभी तक जो हमने एक इक्वेशन बनाई है आई होप दैट इक्वेशंस आर क्लियर टू यू now let's go one step forward beta so now what i want to do is i have got these uh, this is what i was thinking this should be 22 everywhere it, it is 22 in the book now let's make this as 22 everywhere this will be 22 aur yahan pe bhi na just make this as 22 that's it ha huh? okay 